Now we're looking for a lady of the night. The dame allegedly runs a brothel, and that excites me because that means we can get our our peen out and get our sex on. You know what I'm saying? We can have ourselves a good time. Bit of a handful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think we found her. Oh, my lady, I could do more than please you. I can assure you of that. Just give me a chance. That will do nicely. Kiss him. I shall expect a favor in return. <laughs> I hope it's a sexual favor. I'm down with any favor you would like, my lady. How you tease me so. I'm already getting enough comments from some of you guys on my past videos about simping. This isn't going to go down well with anybody, is it? What is going on, YouTube universe? This is Zira, and ladies and gentlemen, Welcome back to yet another installment of Final Fantasy 16. Sit back, relax, it is game time, and make sure you strap yourselves in because we've got a ways to go today. To we are heading for Northreach, which I think is going to lead us through an area called the Vale. Currently we're in Clairview. And we have just left Lost Wing behind. See, we're already talking about all these different locations and we've only just started. But... Yesterday's episode saw Clive and Sid go into partnership in the way of wanting to create a world where bearers and slaves and branded and anybody who falls under the category of, you know, living lives that are going to see them die more often than not, uh, and not by their choosing, by, by the hand of another. We're wanting to just create a, a safe haven for these people to be able to live their lives the way they want to live it and that is going to lead us to the imperial city because sid has revealed that in order for us to be able to exist within this world to be able to create this world we're looking to create we need to start taking out the mother crystals which is what we have been made to Northridge. worship and praise throughout this game you know it's a heavy part of this game's lore so we're basically taking away what many have sworn to protect. Many that have, you know, paid tribute to. It's going to be very interesting to see how this story plays out moving forward. But the fact now that Sid and Clive are on the same, you know, playing field here. They're both on the same wavelength. It's going to be very interesting to see how that partnership goes moving forward. Take out these wargans make our way over here so maybe Northreach isn't the far location we're going to maybe this is Northreach here I just remember Sid being told we have to go to see the dame in the you Vale see first used to speak of a brothel. see search for the dame the checkpoint. Northreach the Holy Empire of Sands Wreck the the you there with the right to confiscate any object. Can I come in? Not another step, branded. Or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Oh, really? Go on, then. Now, we're looking for a lady of the night. The dame allegedly runs a brothel. And that excites me. Because that means we can get our, our peen out and get our sex on. You know what I'm saying? We can have ourselves a good time bit of a handful, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I think we found her. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers... Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Oh, well, they've all had a turn, have they? I think you could please me. Clive? Oh, my lady. I could do more than please you. I can assure you of that. Just give me a chance. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? 
Yes, you can, my lady. You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. It's good to have friends in high places, I suppose. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... Unless? <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. Kiss him! But... I shall expect a favour in return. <laughs> I hope it's a sexual favour. I'm down with any favour you would like, my lady. How you tease me so. I'm already getting enough comments from some of you guys on my past videos about simping. This isn't going to go down well with anybody, is it? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are, but it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. A bit of role play, okay. I can get down. Madame, back to the veil already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? None of your fucking my business, mate. Escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Uh, you bastards are going to go get your rocks off, are ya? You wanna go? Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. You're lucky I don't chop your dick off. Get out of my sight, filth. Fucking dog. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they did. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Ah, so the Vale so must be the brothel that choice. she runs. The Whorehouse. The Sanctuary for the Other Ladies of the Night. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Oh, my lady. My darling. Well, I intend to learn this place incredibly well. Might I get a room to, uh, satiate my pain? Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. 
Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes. Oh, she's very clever, this one. Ask me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh. I shall try. This. It's gonna be a brand. Oh, we have the seal of the moon and stars from Isabel. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Well, my lady, if you would be so kind, you can uh, flag in my iron. You know what I'm saying? I should probably start here. Alright, we have to investigate Tatian's whereabouts. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. That she does. You have to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatian. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Thank you for the intel. Let's see what her chambermate I might be back to have a bit of a smash later. Excuse me, chambermaid. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. Mm -hmm. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Give me an escort if you'd like, baby. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later. And I'll give you a knackering, don't you worry. Um, told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Thank and you. Get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. And then maybe later I'll come and find you. And from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Well, off we go to the barracks then. Well then. I'm looking forward to really fleshing out areas like this, not straight away, but as you can see there are plenty of side quests around and I've made comment plenty of times that some of the side quests have been a bit tedious, so I'll have to look into them to see what they offer. If they offer us anything story-wise or law-wise, we'll dive on it, if not, we'll put I'm it to the side. For with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! You fuck off, Hold mate! He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. Yeah. Fuck up, idiot. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thank you. More is the last village on the map. Mouthy little her. fuck. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Okay, 
Looks like we're going to be leaving the big city and we're going to be heading elsewhere. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? That I do, my lady. what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Well, if we find anything at all. We could be getting sent on a wild goose chase here. But just touching again on what I was saying about side quests before, and the side quests that we've been seeing popping up in all these areas, I think, for the most part, I'm probably going to leave the majority of them as post-game content. I just feel they haven't really been giving anything in the way of How many providing us with information that makes the story, you know, a lot, a lot deeper, a lot more enriched. It's... I don't know. I'm just in two boats, in two mindsets about it all. That's enough for today, Branded. But I am loving the exploration in this game and just taking in all the different parts of the map and as as much as the open world aspect of this game has to offer, I'm just taking every minute of it in and Not then you. some. Just love how beautiful this game looks. Do a little bit of hurdle jumping. Don't mind if I do. All right, if this must be more. Are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's the Holy the Empire, Empire of Sandbreck. Unit here. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You, you want to keep me out and off? I'll fucking chop your head off. I've got to speak with Bertrand. Can you please show me where Bertrand is? Oh, if even a grain Aha! Is missing. Hello, Bertrand. Isabel sends me. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till a soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's just as Isabel said, broach for protection. Understood. He's just told me to keep my head down, but the quest is going to send me to talk to him anyway. Okie dokie. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for a constable? I'll jam my sword up your ass, mate. At the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Yeah, get your shit in check, mate. What is it that she requires of me? Rumour has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes. Yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly...
certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not Thank you. All. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Well, have you no, you old fuck? Don't you? That I was helpful, I mean. No. Most helpful. You weren't helpful at all. You wanted to run your mouth about me being a branded. If I fucking come back here and you keep running your fucking mouth, I'll fucking kill you myself. See, this is why Clive and Sid all be my, my banter. Clive and Sid have teamed up for this exact reason. The fact that because I'm branded, it's automatically assumed that I'm a slave. You know, I must have a master. I am I have to do what I'm told. Death here, Togo. This is what we're trying to break the shackles of. Wolves. Oh, we have wolves. Fall victim to my flames of rebirth. Oh, they're still alive. Closer to the village. Well, let's do a roundup. Get in there, Tor. We'll get yourself a piece. Good night, wolves. Enemy slain. The only problem is I saw a couple of bodies and I think uh, the soldier and Tatien might be dead. Damn it all. Bodies. A man and a woman. Yep. Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. Been dead for a while. Hence why they haven't returned. Pretty sure that's the comb so that uh, the dame gave to Tatien. Tatien. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The Fuck are you doing here? To see every night. You said her name was Tatien. Did you follow me, you bastard? Did you follow me? That's what I just asked. Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. You have? We both found who we were searching for. What's left of them now, anyway? He's a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could of course you, you did. Happened? Might sound better coming from you. Okay. Let's go break the bad news. I don't think she's going to take this, I need to tell this about. well at all. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. What a predicament. There had to be something going on considering 
you know, they've been gone for, for much longer than anticipated. But finding them dead, I think, is something that nobody would have anticipated coming. Milady, I have you at home. You are still in one piece, I see. Yeah. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. And you'll they be they would meet not you pleased to hear that to the east of here. Tatiana is in more I than one that. piece. You need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. <laughs> What's left of her? Unfortunately. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Have the comb, my lady. Something to remember her by. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Quest complete, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that's a cheeky little level up as well. No, it's not, but we're right on the precipice of it. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. Thank you, my lady. And thank you again. And be sure I'll be back at the Vale soon to uh, pay my respects and and show you my thanks. <laughs> Good boy. Fuck, I love being able to interact with Toggle. That's so good. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where today's episode is going to come to an end. When we return, we are going to gather at the abandoned chapel and catch up with Jill and Sid. If you did enjoy what went down today, do myself a favor and hit that like button down below. It does go a long way to supporting myself, and I do appreciate your support immensely. Playlist in the description of this video. Be sure to check it if you want to catch up on any episodes you may have missed. Be sure to hit that notification bell before you leave as well, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, you're not going to get notified whenever I upload. You want to get that ring-a-ding-ding -ding to tell you that a new video is out, right? Right? But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastard.